Hello, I'm Ed Trism and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, a Game of Thrones mod. We are, of course, playing as a Robb Stark, the King in the North. And unfortunately, Joffrey has murdered Sansa. Joffrey beheaded her for our refusal to bend the knee. And we need to extract our revenge. We're about to capture King's Landing, and I cannot wait for that. Now, got a little bit of a fight going here. We had in command happen to us. Okay. Uh, we killed 4,000 for the cost of 90. Awesome. We need a. Brendan, come over here. Where is. Joffrey? Joffrey's here, apparently. Raining in the Red Keep, King's Landing. Okay. We're going to capture the Red Keep soon. I cannot wait for that. Alright. Stop moving. Move towards you. Split in two so that we can have both groups. Move towards you. We also need to get ourselves some more commanders. And... Sure. Oh, hello. Stannis got there first. We keep losing to the Greyjoys, sadly, up north. Can't really do much about that. So, Forley Presto was captured in battles, now my prisoner. Okay. That's nice. Lord Rickard of the Rills has inherited my lordship of the Rills and other titles from Lord Roderick the Old. Right, managed to defeat all of you. You're actually leaving. You're actually not broken. You're actually just running. So we'll try and catch you. Hello there. Oh, you're already damaged. Yeah, it's the, only the center that's actually holding out. Both of the flanks are gone. So Foley Prest is complaining. Uh, let him rot. Ooh. Oh, stuff, stuff happening now. Combat is the best teacher. While leading my forces during the Battle of Langwood Hall, I'll become more efficient in battle. You were separated from men in the chaos of battle, and now you find yourself in the middle of the war. As you scan the field to try and rejoin your forces, you see Lothar break through the enemy ranks and charge you. Okay. Oh, he's he's strong and a skilled fighter. That means his dueling is going to be eight minus six. That means my chance of winning is about twenty percent. Prepare to die. I need to get out of here or get back your grace. I'll handle this. Osha, do you think you can make it? You're a fourth trained fighter. Brawny brings you up to a six. I'm not sure this is going to be a good idea. I need to get out of here. We're going to run from the battle just because I know we'd fail that. Because the tooltip when you actually select the dueling options at the beginning says that if you have a lower dueling level, there's only about a 20% chance you'll actually win. And so we know we're winning the battle anyway. Merin was captured and now my prisoner. Oh, you're a hedge knight. You eventually joined the King's Guard, don't you? Oh, sweet. Perfect. So Bruce was captured in battles now a prisoner? Another hedge knight? Hmm. Alright, let's keep going to King's Landing. As my troops ransacked the palace of the Red Keep, they uncovered an interesting relic that King Joffrey had hidden away there. History of the Ronish Wars. Ooh. 
Your grace, I'm pleased to report I've captured some high valley prisoners. After a successful siege of the Red Keep, I hereby turn them over to your judgment. Wait, did we just get King Joffrey of the Iron Throne? We could end the war right now. We could we could murder him right now, or we could end the war. Oh, that's that's a really difficult choice. So we could end the war, but also we could get revenge for Sansa. And for our father. We need to do it. How should he be dispatched? Beheaded or hanged? More. More. Beheaded or hanged. Okay, so it's just beheaded or hanged. Uh, traditionally, beheading is for nobles and kings, whereas hanging is for common criminals. I'm going to have him hanged. Your grace... His Grace King Joffrey has taken his last breath. May he repose in peace. Now his heir, Prince Tommen Lannister, will take the throne and rule the Seven Kingdoms henceforth. I care not for this foreign king. And of course, you know, we missed our opportunity to win the war. However, I feel we're doing okay. Where are you? Hiding somewhere around King's Landing. Okay, so you are hiding, but you're around King's Landing. Same for you. Eh, I can't plot to kill you enough. Marin's complaining. Let him rot. Sabros is complaining. Let him rot. We should probably try and ransom all prisoners again. I've learned the advice of a group of my bannermen led by blah blah blah. I hereby enact a series of laws empowering my council to act and vote on matters pertaining to the governance of the high. Okay, cool. Uh, let's also go for laws. We haven't actually done anything with laws yet. Realm authority, high. Increases levy. People like me a little bit less. Yeah, let's do it. Realm authority, high. They should vote yes on it because they like me. Victory at the Dragon Gate. And if you're amassing a force there, we'll take it down. Feet. Oh dear. Your Grace, I'm deeply hesitant to ask, but the coffers of your local subjects are drying up. Any recompense the cost of. Ooh. Some tax concessions should placate them. Give them gold. Or flattery because of my high diplomat. Flattery! There you go. Okay, they approved. High. Uh, let's also try and get them to increase their vassal levy obligation rather than money. I think the idea here is to try and increase the levy obligation from nobles and increase the money from burghers, because you tend to get more vassal, uh, levies from nobles than you do from burghers anyway. Keep losing. Those damn attackers up north. Oh, and that was our win down here. Sweet. No captures, though. I was hoping to capture, like, a load of people. As a working Mr. Lewin bursts into your study. Your Grace! You've been up all night! It'll be your best interest not to work so hard, lest you collapse from exhaustion! Gain 50 prestige, 30% chance of getting stressed. Now that caused my fertility to go down. Or, perhaps you're right, I'll heed your advice. 
taking it easy. I lose. Oh, no. No. The realm never rests and neither shall I. Please don't gain the trait stressed. Please don't gain the trait stressed. Okay, looks like we're good. Jenny says, These peasants we have are all mind command like little slaves, right? Ooh. Uh, no, that's it. You're under curfew. I, I can't allow that. And she's now wroth with her constant anger. Not sure I'm training children the right way here. Aegon Targaryen invades. A young silver-haired man has landed in Westeros, claiming to be Aegon VI, true one son of Rhaegar Targaryen and rightful king of the Seven Kingdoms. It is widely believed he perished in the Red Keep at the hands of Gregor Clegane during the War of the Usurper, along with his sister, Rhaenerys, and his mother, Aaliyah of Dawn. It is purported that it was not Aegon who perished there, but some peasant baby who was put in Aegon's place. Now this claimant lands, and he has the Golden Company at his back. Uh-oh. Do we support Aegon? Aegon is dead. He is a mummer's dragon. Yeah, I don't want to have to deal with some other person now being in charge or pretending to be in charge. Alright, how are we doing up here? If we send you back, there's a good chance we might end up in trouble. But I think we have to. They've taken quite a lot of my stuff. Take one more castle, and then it's just... Oh, there is another castle. This castle of the White Sword Tower. We can take other things easy enough. Right, you've uh, increased your obligation there. I can't change this one until five years' time. Okay, I was going to make the uh, Burgess pay, pay more to offset what the nobles are now not paying. Oh, dear. You're coming south. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Let's go to Harren Hall for now. Don't want to go too far north in case they actually take me in a fight. Good. Keep that up. Ooh, you've captured some important people. Commander Pandas the Spider, Lady Lear. Send them to my dungeon. Thank you. Uh, it's complaining about the dark sun of the dungeon that his family are occupying is asking more suitable accommodation that benefit their rank. Yeah, no, that's a reasonable request. I will grant it. I'm a kind person, right? Rob Stark isn't particularly like, Oh, you will die. Commission a sepulchre. Ooh. To house a statue in the memory of dead parents. That would look on favorably. Oh, look, it costs 100 gold. That's expensive. We should probably do that at some point, but for now. Um, ransom you. Are you already considering a ransom offer? Yeah, no real high value targets there. <gasps> With a new heir, Eddard Stark. A son was born to King Rob, the young wolf and Queen Jen of the North named Eddard. No, that is, that is very thematic. We're going to go with Eddard Stark. Your wisdom and mercy are legendary. I refuse to pay your extortion and ransom. A bit of a different tone there. 10,000 people here. Can we take them? I mean, Stannis is nearby. Stannis can probably jump him as well. Who's in charge of the army? Sir Gregor. Oh. I'm not going to go fight Sir Gregor again. That doesn't sound like a good idea. I filled the ambition to have a son. Oh, sweet. Right. 
See our house rule the Iron Throne. Tempting. Have five children. Tempting. Um, come exalted. Procedure 6,000. New. Paragon of Virtue. Piety of 1,000. New. Well, maybe actually. Obtain Valyrian Steel. I would love that. Win the war. Yeah, actually. Oh, give me a marshal as well. We're doing pretty well at the war, so yeah, we can go for that one. My bodyguard. All of the phrase. Uh, express a desire to f get married. Oh, I I'll find you a nice spouse. I will find you a nice spouse. Let's arrange your marriage. Spymaster of Blackhaven. Disinherited. Oh. Uh wait. God damn it. I meant just to go back, not all the way back. Let's find character again. Where are you, Oliver? Uh arrange a marriage. You could marry Osha. As a court, Osha would gain 21 prestige from marrying to House Ray and 300 from marrying the relative of Lord. Matrilineal. Tempting. Jenny Paul. Mm. Let's search. Diplo range, yes. Gender, women. Princess of the Golden Head. Oh, we need married, no. Way too old. Courtier in Bravos. Can we organize it by rank? Green Grace of Yaros. Red Priest. Interesting. Fire obsessed. Okay. You hold a claim? You're very old, though. There's no point in marrying you. You're way too old. It's tempting to go and get, like, the Red Priest or someone. Anyone here got a good claim? Way too old. Too old. Too old. Too old. Too old. No. Okay, it doesn't really matter who we give you. So what if we give you a red priest? Ranger marriage. No, I'm literally trying to marry you off to someone. Ranger betrothal? No. I guess maybe you can't marry because you're a priest. Maybe? What about you? Okay. What about you? Court in Bravos. Courtesan, attractive. Oh. Yeah, your fertility is ridiculously reduced because of that. Maybe you? You are an ironborn. Yes. Done. Yay! So all of our Emperor Puella will get married. That seems wonderful. She's now my courtier. Ooh, can I take her to be a handmaiden? It says I can make a sworn shield. I can't. I don't understand that one. You can make a sworn shield? No, I can't. No, can't be a handmaiden, no valid characters. Fine.
Uh oh, they're coming a long way south. That'll be an issue. Grave news, Master Loon. I've been tending the wounded of the Humanic Command. It's reported that have cracked under the stress of the stream of grotesque injuries. The men are now unnerved because of this. Oh, Master, Master Lewin isn't... Master Lewin is the one who's cracked. Oh. He's stressed. And minus 10% to my armies? Oh, no. That's not good. Are you coming for my troops? Maybe. My queen has not been herself lately. I've noticed how she's lost weight and been overcome by episodes of intense fatigue. Apparently the underlying cause is cancerous growth, which is sucking the life out of her. Call for physician. We only just married her! God damn it. After being successfully treated by Maester Lewin, my wife is feeling much better. Damn. Um, here's some money. Well done. That was quick. Definitely a reward for that. <gasps> Prince Doran! I, I always was a massive admirer of you, Prince Doran. I see just cause in your struggle against the throne. I'll take up arms and stand beside you. Do you have, like, any other daughters who... No, I was hoping you might have someone related who would be totally awesome. Can I ask Prince Tristan to come to... No, okay. Thank you, thank you. We need to find a way to reward Dawn for that. That's really nice of Dawn. Could definitely do the help. We're going to send our army north. Since this army's come south, we can go north now. And if they try and chase us, we'll just give them the runaround. Yeah, they keep sieging us. God damn it. Okay, how's it go? Oh, hello. 15,000. They're getting tough. You're going to have to just turn into one block. I don't like how strong that is. Hopefully Dawn will get us soon to help. There we go. Siege of King's Landing. The Sept. The Castle of White Sword Tower. And then the City of Flea Bottom next. We're going to assault the Sept, I think. Build a new fort. We're just going to assault the Sept, make it quick. Yeah, that was a lot quicker. Aren't we attacking the rest of King's Landing? Surely there's other stuff to attack here. Rick and Stark, you need a focus. Okay, uh... Humility. There we go. Seems reasonable. Why can't I take the remaining provinces here? Oh, we're at one hundred percent. Offer peace. Enforce demand. King Tommen gets limited realm authority. I see the ancestral great sword of how Stark is returned to Rob Stark. We get a Valyrian blade. Tommen Lannister and siblings shall henceforth be legally known as bastard offspring of Jaime and Cersei uh, Lannister. Tommen, as well as all Lannisters in King's Landing, shall be imprisoned. Shall be imprisoned. We'll decide what to do with the Iron Throne. That doesn't make sense. 
Tommen Lannister, as well as all Lannisters in King's Landing, shall be imprisoned. We'll decide what to do with the Iron Throne. I guess we will decide? Oh, if I'd known that, we could have done that with Joffrey, and then we would be able to just murder Joffrey and throw out on the spot. But sure, let's enforce our demands. Okay, uh... Usurped, usurped. Usurped. We won. The Lannisters are in our hands. Ned Stark is avenged. Northern and River Lies alike have sacked King's Landing for its worth and now stand before the Iron Throne itself. Here's an interesting choice. The war is won. The Lannisters are in our hands. Ned Stark is avenged. Northmen and Riverlords alike have sacked King's Landing for its worth. And now I stand before the Iron Throne itself. Stannis' heir should have it. It's theirs by right. The throne does not concern me. I shall leave King's Landing and come back. I'm going to arrange betrothal between you and Eddard. You are 12 and he is 0, but it's worth it. You can accept. Oh, I can't unpause until I've chosen this. Damn it. Okay. Because then he'll be like, well, now this is much more important. I might not betroth them. <sighs> We're going to give it to Stannis. We're going to do what Rob would do. Give it to Stannis. The war has been won. Our enemies' armies have been crushed and the loyalist force has been defeated. Court of Tom Waters... One of your opponents has been brought before you to hear your judgment. Leave him be, or I shall judge him. Uh, I shall judge his family justly. If we leave him be, uh, he becomes a courtier in our court and basically becomes a hostage. You know what? Tommen never did anything to us. I'm going to leave him be. <gasps> to magnificent King Rob, blessings upon you in your house. I reject your insulting suggestion. Princess Shireen will never marry Prince Ed. Oh, wow. We're having words, mate. That's not how you speak to me. Stannis, man, I was on your side. How's the fight in the north going? Pretty well so far. Army of White Walkers? Uh oh. Formidable fighter. Dueling plus eight. Oh dear. Right, need another ambition. Ice. Ice is a Valerian steel great sort of House Stark. Spell forged in Valeria a century before Aegon's conquest. Noise. Ambition. Win another war. Should have gone for a Valerian steel blade, because that gives you 100 prestige when you get it. Which we got at the end of the war. If I'd known. Oh well. Either way. We're going to take out some annoying people, aren't we, Balon? Uh-oh. What happened? Did the Trident just go for independence? The Craven Edmo Tully has failed to answer my call to arms for him to sit behind his castle walls. You what? Oh, right. Uh, he wasn't actually going to have us as liege. Technically, I'm your heir. Can I plot to kill you? Offer vassalization. No. Mm. 
Okay. Yeah. Because you supported us, but you didn't necessarily believe us as king. Okay, let's send a raven to Edmund. I'm pretty sure we turn it down, but how does civil wars work? Oh, hello, Cersei. We're going to have words with you in a minute. Wars in Empire titles, like the Iron Throne, no longer work the same way as they do in vanilla. When the Emperor title goes to war, the realm fractures so that the great houses may decide what to do. For the duration of the war, all Lords Paramount kings are regarded as being de facto independent. Here are the details. Okay, right. So, what just happened there? Ignore it. That was a vanilla mechanic. Okay, I'm going to send a raven to Edmer, because Edmer is actually obliged to follow me. Oh, I need to deal with this before I can unpause. Um, Tyrion. A direwolf, minus five. Okay, fair enough. Tyrion, you know what? I will ransom my cellar. Sure, 46 gold is nice. Uh, but I also will release you from prison. Tyrion's too awesome. Yeah, Tom's going to stay with us for now. Cersei, on the other hand... This is what set rulers in the Kingsguard. Uh, because she's now technically the Kingsguard. Because Sir Jamie is now her liege. Who is in the Kingsguard? Okay. Yeah, she needs to die. Um... What other options do we have? Okay. We will have her hanged. I think it's a reasonable choice. Uh, the grounds for doing so, by the way. Uh, treason, stuff like that. Um, going behind the king at the time's back. Sleeping with her brother, all that. That's all death penalty things, so we're good here. You land six and stay we are for now. Okay. Come on, Edmer. I accept paying your ransom for the safe return of Marcella. Yay! There we go. We've got some money. My friend John has invited me to a grand banquet. I will reluctant. No, lots of people and lots of food. Good. Definitely going. I have been found alive and well when she's really thought dead. <gasps> Aya's back! Hi, Aya! She's a trained fighter. She has a direwolf with her. Duelist? She's got a duelist trait. Nice! Focus. Martial education. To go with her willfulness, because that'll give her plus one. Marshall plus one intrigue, and they combine together nicely. Let's do it. Also, can I sign, um... I can grant you ice? I'm not going to. Sign a guardian. Mwah. Commander Kyle of Kingspire's Tower, opinion of King Rob will decrease. Why? Is he currently her guardian? Yes. No. No, no, no. She needs to be close to home. I need to protect Aya. Aya's too awesome. I also need to find Tommen. And become his guardian. 
into that way. No one can declare war on me without Tom and dying. Oh. Can I... I wish there was a way to default the filters. Any... Any... That's fine. Tommen. No, those are all the wrong Tommen. There we go. Oh, there's no point in me trying to keep you on side by, like, having you as a... Yeah, because you're disinherited. Oh. No point in trying to keep you on side at all. Advisor. Hmm. Who do we want? Brendan Tully isn't on the ball already? Yeah, you should definitely be there. The blackfish is too awesome to waste. You should definitely be advising me. The King of the Iron Throne. In the name of the Lord of Light, I stand at the House of in the first of my name, promise, pledge, and guarantee in the sight of the Heart of Fire that I will be the protector and defender of the realm in all ways useful to it. However, many... Insofar as I'm supported by divine assistance according to my knowledge and ability, today King Stannis is crowned by King Stannis and formally received the title of King of the Andals, Roynar, First Men, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms, Protector of the Realm. He is no king of mine. Okay. Ooh. You have to pay a ransom for Sir Jamie. Oh no, for Sir Lancel. Uh, yeah, actually, Kevin, you're pretty decent by comparison. Lancel Lannister can come back. There's the money. Thank you. Now, I want to have words. You still haven't joined. If you die, I am your heir. We'll have to see if you die. We've arrived at the last hearth where Lord John has greeted us warmly to his feast. Lovely. A message about the Rings was trolled being received from Tywin Lannister. We froze that Willem Lannister. And Lady Eye of the North should get betrothed? No. Hi, Tywin. Really? I did just kill your daughter. Yeah, they're going to come and fight us. At least they're going to be suffering a river crossing penalty. Woods arrived from Castle Black. The Lord Commander writes that the cold winds are rising, the dead are walking, and the trees have eyes once again. And white shadows stalk the woods. He calls for all lords to put aside the pet differences and ride of the night watch and reclaim the dawn. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, winter is coming. Hi. Oh, dear. For now, though, I think we're going to leave this episode here. The White Walkers are on their way. We need to be prepared. Oh dear. I mean, I really see him. Like, subscribe, let me know what you're thinking of the series so far down below. I felt that was a pretty reasonable outcome compared to, say, what happens in the books. Until next time, stay shiny. Wait, shouldn't there be a pass here? Is there a pass? There is a pass. Good, okay. <laughs>